guys, we've got a little project. This time I'm going to put a tow hitch on the back of my wife's uh, Toyota Highlander. This is a 2016 model. And for those of you who are contemplating doing this project yourself, I'll show you what it took for me to get it done. This is the hitch sitting on the floor here. It's pretty heavy duty. This is actually the one that recesses up into the bumper a little bit, so it's a bit nicer um, than probably something you would get after market. That is a you know that's a factory Toyota hitch. And the part numbers for the hitch, and also got the wire harness. Or let's see here. That is your part number for your hitch. And I believe that's the trailer harness kit. And I'm going to obviously put both on. So I'll uh, take you through that. And there's a box full of bits and pieces, um, parts and whatnot, hardware. Got a couple of pieces here of a trim that go on the rear bumper that once you get up under here you're actually going to take there's a section this separates right here this take you take this piece off and this piece uh, goes up in here and replaces it and it kind of gives you a, a little bit of a cutout for that bumper to fit up in so this rear bumper recesses up a little bit and you have a little plastic step plate that's on the end of it so that's actually kind of a nice feature that's why i went with this one over uh some of the aftermarket ones that just hung down like a big old, I don't know what you want to call that, but I, I thought this looked a little better. And it's a Toyota part, and a brand new car like this, I would rather uh, go with something like that. So anyway, we'll take you through the installation, and we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, first thing in the instructions is to take this panel off here, which is just got a few got a few bolts, one a clip, a couple bolts up here, a couple way up in here. Don't have very good lighting, I apologize for that, but there's one and the other one's up in there. Gotta take those guys loose. So we'll get that going. the same thing on this side you've got to remove this panel here so you can get some stuff out of the way like uh, this uh, tow hitch tie down hook guy right here got to come off um, you can see you got a fastener or two up in there I got to get to There's a strap right here that you have to remove. It's got this bolt here. This has got to come off. It's just a just a strap, I guess, just to mount the, uh, the plate with. But I think your hitch has to actually go there. And it does tell you to discard that bolt. You don't need it. Next thing on the list is removing this towing uh, tie-down point right here. Get that out the way. Okay, the next thing we're going to remove is this fascia, this lower fascia here on the back bumper. It's got a few of those push pins and a couple of uh, screws and a couple, a couple of places. There you go. Okay, now there are quite a few. Um, drain plugs that you've got to pop out that would be these guys right here like this one there's one up here that you can't see out the view of the camera there's one here and one here on the right side and there's like seven of these guys on the left side so you, you know well, there you go there's one you don't really need much tooling to do it you just pop them out there you go there's done two three and that one I might need a screwdriver for. Okay, once you get all that stuff out of the way, it's time to move on to putting the hitch on itself. 
So we're going to get to figuring out how to do that. The instructions tell you that it takes two people to do this. Um, I'm only one person, but I can always seem to figure out a way to do things by myself. So we'll see what I come up with. So I've got two bolts in the back, well actually technically that's the front towards the front of the car on the hitch. Now I just got to get, support the hitch from the rear and lift it up and then I can get the other bolt started. Unfortunately I got the car jacked up just a wee bit too high for the jack. It maxes out and I'm thinking about another three inches of lift to get there. Alright, then you gotta leave uh, these bolts loose. Don't tighten them up because you got brackets, you got you got braces you gotta put on the side here as well as the other side. And you need it to be able where you can jostle things around and get it lined up. Now at this point, I think it's easy for me just to show you on the instructions versus me actually showing you how I do it because it's going to be a little bit of back and forth going on. But this is basically the instructions on how to center it and tighten everything up. You, you start out by tightening up the top two bolts on the plate on each side. And once you've done that, you'll be able to take the entire hitch and shift it left to right and get it centered so that this is in the middle of the car. And then you actually take and tighten up the three bolts that mount it directly to the frame rail. <coughs> and after you do that, then you go back, I believe, and you tighten these two bolts up here, which cinches everything together. So after reading through the instructions, that's kind of how you do it. And all of your torque specs are right here, you know, tells you uh, everything goes to 59 foot pounds. Now, one thing I did notice when you put these little guys on, you know, you just have to slide it into the slots here, but it kind of lines up. Make sure this little tab here goes on top of this, not up under it, because it is kind of set to kick up. Okay, now that I have the hitch for the most part installed other than putting the rest of the trim back up under the car, it's time to do the harness. The harness comes in two pieces. You've got this guy here which has the plug on it and then you've got an internal wire harness along with a digital converter box of some sort that does its thing and thing and all that kind of stuff and a pack full of whatnots and stuff along with a 30 amp fuse for the fuse box. Um, and some screws for, I guess, fastening this guy. 
Um, but the first thing you got to do before you do anything, and if you look at these instructions especially, it'll tell you, um, and I wholeheartedly agree. Turn off your ignition and disconnect the battery because you can set off the supplemental restraint system. In other words, you don't want to blow your airbags. Um, so that's, <laughs> before you do anything electronic, always, always, always do that. Done. Then you pop out the fuel release cover. And you got to pop this panel out right here, according to what I read. There we go. go the harness is under the car got that guy coming up out the floor so we're running over here just like that and you got a little four pin connector right here and you plug this guy in and, and make sure the battery is disconnected when you do this Then I got that converter to install, so I'll move on to that. And there is a, a ridge of a body panel sitting here, and I'm supposed to install that little converter unit on this ridge, as well as clean this surface with some type of uh, non-volatile cleaner. So I'm gonna use just a little bit of acetone because that'll take care of any grease. It evaporates really fast, um, leaves nothing behind right in that area so that when I stick this guy to it because it has like a little butyl butyl something or another um, adhesive on the back of it that sticks it there so that's what I'm gonna do all right she's in there I should be able to get back to that without too much trouble if I ever have to. Okay, and last but not least, you got to install your 30 amp fuse that comes with the kit in the fuse box. There you go. And there's your 30 amp fuse. It's like three fuses up. One of the last things you do before you put all your car back together, you got to cut out and trim some uh, some some plastic. And it's the paperwork has the shaded in areas of what you're supposed to do. It's a little hard to interpret, but I think I figured it out. So I'm going to take my Dremel, hopefully, and trim out what I need to trim, and they'll fit like they're supposed to.
I definitely like the way it turned out. It is exactly what I was looking for. It's recessed into the bumper. Has a nice profile. Not too bad. Definitely functional. Good two inch receiver. So anyway, you can get this done with some basic tools. It's not too much to it. Hope you learned something. Appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you on the next video. Have a good day.